Hello ladies and gentlemen, James Whitworth here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can clean and optimise your registry in Windows. So the software I'm going to be showing you today is a free download, it's called Wise Registry Cleaner. It's a free registry cleaner and optimizer. You can clean registry junk, repair Windows errors and keep your PC at peak performance. Seems to get good reviews, so you can fix registry problems and boost your PC performance. Practical backup restore feature scheduled automatic registry cleaning so you can have it automatically if you want system tune-up which optimizes system settings for better performance and customizable cleanup options for advanced users so you can customize it how you like or you can just let it do the hard work for you so I'm going to be using the free download for this tutorial but you can always upgrade to pro I'll put that link in the description as well you've also got a 60 day money back guarantee if you change your mind so let's go and do the free download Shouldn't take too long to download. Let's go and open it when done. So go through the agreement, have a read. I accept the agreement. This is where it's located. Install. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to find Wise Registry Cleaner and right click and select Run as Administrator. Confirmation it seems like it's your first time to use this program. Immediate Registry backup is recommended. Do you want to backup automatically now? Let's click yes. So you've got two choices. You've got to create a system restore point or you can create a full registry backup. We'll create a full registry backup. So once this is done, you're ready to go. So if there's any wind noise from coming out from outside, it is very windy at the moment. So you've got three options. You've got fast scan, deep scan or custom. I wouldn't recommend doing custom unless you really know what you're doing. So for the first time, I recommend doing the deep scan. So it's going all through the registry files and finding out various problems that it needs to fix. Here we go. That is crazy. A total of 1,604 problems were found this time. So, 94 unsafe to be deleted, so I'll skip those. Look at all these. Deary me, that is a lot of problems. So we'll go ahead and clean that. Clean up completed. 1,604 problems were found and 1,509 problems have been solved. If you're thinking, wait, why, why is that a different number? Remember it did say that it's unsafe to solve some of the issues, so it's just left them alone or unsafe to delete them. So it's left those issues out. System tune-up, so it tells you us here, the following 10 items can be optimised. You've got boot up and shutdown acceleration, system stability, system speed up, network speed up, SSD optimize, you have got a lot of different options here, but it selects the ones that it recommends you to follow. So for example, speed up display speed of, of taskbar window previews. So these are just the little preview things that come up at the bottom. If it's a bit slow for your liking, you can optimize that. You can speed up aero snap to make thumbnails display faster. I won't go through all of these, this is a long list of different things, but it's come up with 10 things that needs to be optimized, so let's just click optimize. So that is simple, straight away, congratulations, all the items have been optimised. The last step is registry defrag, I won't do this because I'm using an SSD. If you're using hard drive you can go ahead and finish this step. So that's all there is to it, we've managed to solve 1509 registry problems which is crazy. What I like about this problem, I like the interface, I think it's nice and easy to use, I like the little icons and that, it's nice to navigate, it's not too off-putting. I've used programs previously which have been a bit cluttered and a bit complicated and confusing. But this is nice and simple and it really just does most of the hard work for you. So I've put links in the description for the Rise Registry Cleaner 9 and if you want the pro version I've also put that link in the description if you're interested. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to thumbs up. If you want more of this sort of thing don't forget to subscribe. If you want to be notified for the next video don't forget to press the bell icon. As always thanks for watching this is James Wilf signing out.